Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at RodneySalisbury.com and sign up today. Welcome to Success Talks for this special episode. Today, we are going to talk about a new movie that's coming out this Friday called Black Panther. The film is already a box office smash with advanced ticket sales as early as January already selling out. And it stars Chadwick Boseman. Recently on Good Morning America, Chadwick talked about how the movie has already been selling out in theaters with advanced tickets. He says it has a lot of substance, and it's been amazing to see the fans embrace that. I didn't know how other people would feel about it, Bozeman said. I knew just from the comic book what a Black Panther movie could be, the type of impact it could have. I knew it would be a revolutionary idea. I didn't necessarily know that people would buy out the seats in theaters. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. The Black Panther character made its Marvel debut in 1966 as the first black superhero of African descent in mainstream comics. And the film has given the character new life, Bozeman said. This thing has taken on its own life. It's amazing to watch how excited people are. Bozeman said he's seen firsthand at advanced screenings how the movie affects audiences. There is a sense of pride that I've seen from most people when they come out of the theater that is a very unique experience across the board, whether they're African-American or African or white or Asian. He continued, it's not just the thing of adapting the characters of this particular film, but finding their own sense of character, which is a very, very interesting thing that I have never seen before. The 41-year-old said he hopes this presentation of a black superhero will inspire younger people. It's important because I didn't have this growing up, Bozeman said. In addition to the title character, the film also shows women in strong roles. This sort of extends that conversation about black superhero women, women in superhero movies. Bozeman said of his diverse cast and co-stars, who include Angela Bassett, Lupita Nyong'o, and many more. There's not just one image to look at. They're all very different and have different types of beauty and strength. Black Panther has its official opening Friday, February 16th. Be there. Both Marvel Studios and ABC News are owned by Disney. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.